Okay, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about photo editing um, right from your phone. Again, I am using an iPhone and I am just um, going to show you a couple things. First, I'll show you on this photo that I took a few months ago that is a little bit underexposed. Um, you can see there's some bright pops of color, but we could maybe adjust it slightly. Um, this was taken, I think this was a non-HDR photo. But um, I'm going to just edit through the iPhone itself, um, not through an app or anything like that, and just kind of show you my go-tos of what I do for a photo that doesn't need a whole lot of tweaking, but maybe a little bit of something. So um, I clicked at the bottom, and then it, if you go into here, oops, if you go in here, you can see there's a whole, there's light, color, and black and white, but if you push the little arrows, um, you can see that there is a few things within light. So like if I just wanted to do light overall, I could do that and brighten it up. But you can see you don't have a whole lot of control um, because it's just, it's just light. Well, if you open up light and you look at all the specific things, you could do just exposure, just highlights, just shadows, and etc. So I generally, I might go to the exposure um, and brighten it slightly that way. Um, you can see it's brightening up, but it's not, it's not like oversaturating it with being too bright or it's not, I mean, the background's a little bit washed out, but that's okay. Cause we're kind of really focusing on the cheesy face. Um, and then sometimes I'll just show you for an example, like what brilliance does. So that like really brightens up the whites. It makes them really bright or you can bring down the whites if you want to bring them down. So I'm just going to leave that how it was. Um, I might, sometimes I push with just the brightness itself, like a hair, um, and then a little bit maybe on the contrast, if you want to bring out some of the blacks. So it's just a little bit more crisp. You can see here how, how the difference between it. Um, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of contrast to it. Um, and then I'll go back into color. And here is where I sort of, I, I like the, to play with saturation. In here, there's not a whole lot of color going on because there's a lot of um, just blacks with that wrought iron and the whites in his shirt. But just to show you an example of what it does, if you pull up the saturation a little bit, you can see how his skin tone changes slightly. So it adds like a little more pink to his lips, a little more color to his flesh. Um, if you bring down the saturation, that's where you start to get like the black and the black and white. Um, so, and if you kind of want your photo to look a little softer, you can t take the saturation down just slightly. Like if you're trying to do a more of a vintage look or anything like that. So I kind of, I'm going to pop this one up just a hair. Um, and then I'll show you just what contrast does. You can see, so the contrast, see how his shirt changes there. You can really bring in a little bit more details with that. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going to leave that as is, but, um, so, whoops. Oh my goodness. I'm going to close that. Um. Uh, and then if you just, if you want to see, these are what the actual like quick filters and stuff are. I don't really ever use those. I like to just do it more manually um, through there. So I'm going to leave it as is and just click done. And then what it does is it saves, it saves it as is. Now it saves over your photo. So I mean, you're not saving a copy of it. This is literally just the photo that you took and you're editing it. So like if you mess it up or if you make it black and white, you wanted it color. So Sometimes I just like to like take a screenshot or make a copy or, or whatever. But um, the nice thing about using an app is that it will save a copy of it. So it will do your edited photo and then you kind of have the original. Um, the next one, I'm going to just show you through an editing app just to kind of give you, um, I'll show everybody. I'll put a list of the apps that I tend to use. But just for an example, I use Afterlight. And I'm going to open up this picture here, which as you can see, the sky um, was like, there was a big storm about to come in. And so it was getting really dark, really moody. Um, it 
looked everything looked kind of purpley and green out there so the photo does really capture what the sky and everything looked like but if you don't love that look or if you want to adjust it you know sometimes we don't have control over what nature does so um the apps take a little bit longer to get used to just because you have to kind of know what what settings you you like what your go-to's are generally um i always go to the brightness well first i'll go to exposure and that you can kind of like bring it up but you can see it does it literally like exposes everything so it looks kind of faded and all of that but which may be a look that you're going for in this case i'm not going to i'm just going to go to bright brightness so i'm going to brighten it up slightly um I'm gonna push the X. I'm gonna look at the contrast. I just sometimes like to, you know, like I said, I like to bump that up. Sometimes I go down a little bit if I feel like there's too much happening. I might go down a hair in this one. Um, and then saturation. Actually, this one, what I like is you can actually do temperature. So um, I'll just show you the difference. See this, it's getting more greens and if you pull it back, it's almost like the white balance. You can see how the it, everything looks a little more true to color. So you can see that it almost looks, you can't even tell really that it was that purpley hue. Um, so, I mean, if you wanted, you could do something like that. Um, there's other things in here that you can actually do shadow tones. I mean, these are getting really detailed, but we can't really see anything in that. I mean, you can kind of see how the grass changes color from green, like more green to less. Um, you can do highlight tones, so you can see there's like a lot of pink in there if you want to bring it down. I mean, these are like, if you really want to get into a photo and really play around with it, um, it's kind of fun to, to do it and to sort of figure out what, what each one means. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, another thing that's in here is highlights. So <clears throat> highlights are the bright spots in a photo. So like if you had some really bright spots, like a glare on a face, you could bring the highlights down without actually bringing the whole entire picture down. So you can see here, see how their faces kind of change? And I'll go up and you can see how it, I mean, we don't need it in this picture, but that's just kind of what you can use it for. And you usually only need to go down like negative 10 or up plus 10 you don't have to do anything like super extreme and then same thing for shadows which is here um, it does like if you have some really dark shadows you want to bring the blacks up you could do that and see how it kind of turns um, more of that vintage looking it almost looks like an old um, an old Polaroid or something from like the 70s um, and then you same thing you can go the reverse way which is like really bringing down see how all the shadows turned like really black you can't even see any detailing in um, his shorts anymore so um, I'm just gonna leave it back to zero and then uh, this one is clarify so this is actually like making things sharper I don't really like to use this because I feel like it really looks like you you edited a picture and I don't like that <laughs> the only thing I might do is like soften it a little bit which is actually going like well you can't you can't go negative in this one so never mind but yeah clarifying as if like say something was really maybe fuzzy and you wanted it sharpened a little bit you can you can play with that but to be honest um, you can't unblur a blurry picture so I mean it just doesn't work that way you can always blur something that's really crisp but you can't go the other way around um, and then saturation is another one like I was telling you you can bring it you can bring it down a little bit so again black and white you can just bring it down a hair if you want there to be a little bit of color but just like a hair of desaturation and then of course if you want to bring in the color but here I think too their faces just look too pink so we really don't need it there um, and then what I probably would do because there's this woman in here and I'm not in Photoshop normally I would just like Photoshop it out um, I'm not gonna do that but what I am gonna do is you can tell I took the picture kind of at an angle by accident because you're just trying to catch it really quick you can actually um, adjust your go to this crop button and adjust the picture so that it 
it is a little bit more straight on. So see how the horizon line, I'm making it more straight. So I'm gonna do that and I'm actually going to, um, can do other things in here like flip it, um, flip it, which you don't, we don't really need to do that. Um, you can turn things. Um, I'm gonna crop it. So it, you can see in here, it has a lot at the bottom of different um, aspect ratios. I am just going to do it manually. So, and you can see on this, there is the grid, which is kind of what I talked to you all about, like the rule of thirds. Um, in this one, you know, it's just kind of a cute sibling picture. So I'm not as worried about it being like super artsy or anything. So um, I'm just going to crop that lady out, even though you can still kind of see the wagon. Um, it's a little bit better. And then there's also some options if you want to like um, add borders, anything like that. So um, put stuff in a circle, shapes. Oops. So I, I really like this app. I use it a lot. Um, and then you just hit done and you can um, send, share, save. Um, you can change your sizes of what you wanna save stuff to. So if you don't, like if you like to save lower res things, I always save stuff to the highest res just because um, you never know if you need to, you know, you can't get something, make something a higher resolution from a lower resolution, but you can always make it lower resolution from a higher resolution. So I always click max, I hit save. It saves it, it's right there. So when I go back to my camera roll, It is right here. So you can see there's one picture that we edited and the picture that it was. So not a whole lot of difference, but again, um, you know, just little tweaks here and there. And sometimes, you know, the most important thing for us is we're trying to get the picture. Um, and I know it's not always easy, um, especially if it's moving people or animals or things. Um, you get the picture and then we can go back in and edit later. So, um, uh, let's see here. I'll just do another quick one of like um, black and white maybe. So this was a picture I took of, oops, where all my stuff? Um, out in the snow, it's pretty, I mean, <laughs> sorry hubby, it's pretty well. I mean, there's not much that we have to do to it. I might like bring up the, like I would maybe bring up the saturation just for the color because it's kind of fun with like all of the white in the background. Um, but another thing I wanted to show is if you want it to be black and white, um, there's a way to do like, you know, you can see how there's like intensities of like the blacks in there. There is um, ways to bring up the tone See, that's really blown out versus like that's bringing in a lot of the details. So if I wanted more of the details, I could do that. And then you can still go into your other ones, even though you're already done black and white and you can adjust, you can adjust stuff from there. So I can make, I can make it bright. Um, I can do the contrast. and then just hit done. And there we go, I'm done with that picture. So, oh, I just realized I didn't save a copy, but it's okay. Um, but you get the idea. This is another one, I'm just showing you an example I had edited. That was the, this was the picture I took. It's kind of gray and it was snowing out and then that's the picture I edited. So you can see I added a little warmth to it. Um, it just looks cleaner and more crisp. Again, there's the before, there's the after, and these are just photos from my iPhone that I took. So hopefully that helps you all. Um, I will post this in the group. And look for our photo assignment to be posted right after.